This week at 7.30, 7 puts the heartbeat back into Saturday nights. Seven Nightly News with Chris Bath. Good evening. Thousands of AFL fans have missed out on tickets to this Saturday's grand final. Many may have to pay scalpers up to $1,000 to secure a seat. St Kilda supporters started arriving at 4am to make sure they could be there. At booking offices throughout Melbourne, wild scenes as long-suffering saints secured a seat. But it soon became clear most club members would miss out. Anybody over number 400 in the queue ticket, there's no use staying. I said I'd never go to a grand final until St Kilda were there. And they're there and I can't go. The AFL sucks. Much of the anger directed at the AFL for giving the Crows 4,000 more tickets than St Kilda. The club wants an inquiry into seat allocation and blames the Melbourne Cricket Club for the shortfall. Darren Linton, 7 Nightly News. Former Queensland Premier Wayne Goss will have surgery tomorrow for a suspected brain tumour. Mr Goss was admitted to a Brisbane hospital at the weekend. And Senator Mal Colston, who's still facing fraud charges over his travel expenses, today asked Parliament for more than two months sick leave. Independent Senator Mal Colston has been a man looking to lower his political profile ever since being charged with alleged travel rorts. What's your name? Uh, what's your senator? Now the senator's only political friend, fellow independent Brian Harradine, has successfully requested the Upper House grant Senator Colston leave for more than two months. I move that leave of absence be granted to Senator Colston for the period 22nd of September to 27th November 1997, inclusive on account of illness. Senator Colston will now be allowed to absent himself from the parliament but he'll still receive his full parliamentary salary of almost $82,000 a year, plus a $26,000 a year electoral allowance, along with his travel and Commonwealth car entitlements. His departure will give Senator Harradine the balance of power in the Upper House, putting further question marks over Prime Minister John Howard's ten-point plan to extinguish Aboriginal native title on pastoral leases. Senator Colston's due to face court in December on fraud charges. Both sides of politics supported Senator Colston's leave application after they were told he was suffering from cancer. In Canberra, Glen Merlin, 7 Nightly News. New research has linked mobile phone use to short-term memory loss. The findings are based on animal experiments at Seattle's Washington University. They show that radiation from mobile phones affects memory and concentration. Rats exposed to the microwaves phones emit had trouble performing simple functions. But phone makers insist the results don't apply to humans. Music stores around Australia sold out of Elton John's tribute single to Princess Diana today, just hours after the CD hit the shelves. Thousands had to be turned away from stores, but there should be more copies on the way. As music stores opened across Australia, the rush was on for Elton John's latest single, his tribute to Princess Diana. And it seems to me you've lived your life like a candle in the wind. Elton John's reworking of Candle in the Wind has topped music charts around the world, but was only released for the first time into Australian music stores this morning. Within minutes of opening, most stores sold out. We actually had to go to the airport this morning at 8 o'clock to pick it up so that our customers would have it. Music store managers say they've never seen anything like the public demand for the Princess Diana tribute single. Uh, surprise overwhelmed. Uh, it's something different, nothing of the kind has happened before. Uh, it's something that probably will never happen again. Many were turned away empty-handed. You managed to get one? No, I haven't. <laughs> all sold out, so I had to get pre-ordered. Polygram says it has already shipped around a quarter of a million copies across Australia, but so far that only meets about 40% of the demand from music stores. Pre-orders that were not far off, half a million records. It will go to number one. I think the question is how long will it be there? Most music stores are donating all proceeds to charity. Dean Allen Craig, 7, Nightly News. Now let's check the weather. Isolated showers along the east coast of Australia, mainly fine in the south and west, but there's still the chance of a few showers around. And that's all from the 7 Newsroom tonight. Our next bulletin is sunrise at 6am. I'm Chris Bath. Good night.
Tomorrow Health Insurance. The average family can't afford to pay it. We tell you what's the cheapest cover. Plus, heartbeats, heartthrob. Women want to go to bed with him. Our exclusive with British actor Nick Code on Today Tonight, 6.30 on 7. Cameron Dano, all new heart racing adventure. FX the series soon. This program brought to you by 4 and 20.